Every October 22nd, the night air in this quaint Japanese mountain village becomes surreal and otherworldly. This is the Kurama no Hi, an annual celebration where over a thousand years of history and tradition come to life. As one of Japan's most unique fire festivals, the streets of this small Kyoto town are transformed with a mesmerizing display of fire, cultural heritage, and community spirit. In today's video, we'll explore the significance of this fascinating event, see the festival in action, and give you practical tips for your visit in case you'd like to witness the magic for yourself. Held annually on October 22nd, the Kurama Fire Festival celebrates over a thousand years of history, marking the relocation of the Yuki Shrine from the Imperial Palace to the town of Kurama. This was originally conducted in 940 AD to appease the gods and protect Kyoto from ongoing unrest and natural disaster. The festival recreates and honors this historic event with a vibrant procession of countless torches illuminating the village, symbolizing faith community and resilience. Today, this captivating celebration is designated as one of Kyoto's intangible cultural heritages, reflecting its important role in preserving local customs and cultural values. Typically at 6 p.m. on the day, countless bonfires are lit in the streets and in front of homes. These bonfires have spiritual significance pertaining to purification and divine protection. They also serve the practical purpose of lighting the ceremonial torches, which are some of the main highlights of the procession. These torches vary in size, with the smallest being carried by young children. The medium and larger torches are carried by adults, with the largest weighing up to a whopping 100 kilos. They're traditionally made with azalea branches, collected from the surrounding mountains, and then wrapped in wisteria roots that also serve as handles. The torches serve to guide the gods through the village and are deeply connected to the origins of the festival when Yuki Shrine was relocated to Kurama. It also represents the community effort to honor shared cultural heritage, emphasizing the celebration and continuity of tradition. The participants, dressed in traditional attire, chant phrases that symbolize purification and reverence, uniting participants in their shared effort to honor the gods and ensure protection for the village. At around 8 p.m., the participants gather near the front of the Yuki Shrine, where two Mikoshi are prepared to be paraded through the town. The celebrations then continue with fire and fervor until the festival's conclusion at midnight. But now, here's some practical visitation tips since attending the event does come with some difficulties. The most obvious logistics challenge is the crowd, which can be quite substantial due to the event's popularity. Since there's essentially one main method of public transportation servicing, Kurama, you should expect packed trains both into and out of the village. And while the festival fully concludes around midnight, it's important to be mindful of the transportation schedule and timing for the last train back into town. It's also important to keep safety considerations in mind since the torches, as beautiful as they may be, are quite heavy and potentially dangerous. Especially since the streets can be narrow and quite crowded, it's important to give the torch bearers plenty of space. Lastly, and most importantly, it's vital to keep in mind that this is a sacred event for the locals. To be a courteous guest, please respect the traditions by following any guidance from the event staff, refrain from using flash photography, and be considerate of private property. Doing so ensures these vibrant traditions and cultural heritage get celebrated, passed on, and endures far into the future. All in all, the Kurama Fire Festival blends history, spirituality, and community. It's also an exciting opportunity that invites you to experience a different and deeper aspect of Japan beyond the usual tourist spots of Kyoto. And if you're in the area around this time, it's an unforgettable experience worth considering for your itinerary. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.